creak and mildewy, and you can almost hear the crashing of the waves. You go into this room and there's no ventilation, and they would put about two to three hundred Africans in it, shut the doors and lock it. And then there'd be an observation room from up top, so if they wanted to feed them, they would kind of come and throw scraps down. We went to the room where the women would go, which was on the other side of the fort. And it was the same conditions. And then finally they take us to what they call the door of no return, which is this big wooden door. People were taken, put on boats, sent to sea, and never to return again.